I just want to take some time now to uh, apologize for the current way I look. I was up all night last night basically celebrating because I was blessed by the sneaker gods and for anyone that has been following me for the past few years and know how much I uh, love streetwear and sneakers, the sneaker god blessed me last night with an email. I'm still in absolute shock by this. I don't know how this has happened, but the email says, I'm just gonna quickly show you. It says, congratulations, your Air Jordan OG Dior sneakers are waiting for you. To purchase them in the boutique, I, this is what I mean, I can't even speak. In the boutique you selected. Oh, I just won the maddest shoe I could ever dream for. <laughs> what the fuck? What is good everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am feeling good today. That is not because I won Dior Jordans last night. It is because today we are gonna be talking about five or more different camera tools or I'd actually say camera accessories that are very cheap and I would really recommend anyone out there who is a filmmaker or photographer to buy some of these tools, try them out and keep them on your person at all times when you're out and about shooting, taking videos or just at home filming. So without further ado, let's get into the first tool. Now this first product I have mentioned quite a few times in my previous videos and I thought I would include it in this one because it's just a great accessory to have and it's just something that I always, always carry with me and it is this, a mini Manfrotto tripod. Basically what I use this for is I screw my camera on the top and I use it to vlog with. So if I'm out and about and I'm trying to vlog, I can put the camera on this super easily. Let me show you. So I have my Sony a7R 2 right here. Just screw this on like that. If you do have a 1DX Mark II or a Mark III, a much heavier camera. It won't be as sturdy, I'd say, because I have put a bigger camera on this. It's not as sturdy, but if you have a smaller camera like a Sony or a Canon or a smaller DSLR, this will be perfect. So if you push this little button right here, it basically loosens the ball head. This is also really convenient if you wanna get any time lapses, if you wanna to talk to the camera and you're out and about and you're in the city, you can just set it down on a desk, on a car, on the side of a road, on like a shelf, wherever you want it. And it's just super, super easy to carry around and have with you all the time. This little tripod, Pod also comes in at 20 pounds, which is around, I think, 15 or 16 dollars, which is a no brainer, really. Why would you not have one of these in your camera bag? Moving on now to the next item, and let me ask you guys something Have you ever been out shooting in really harsh sunlight and you find it really difficult to see your LCD screen? So the screen on your camera, super bright, you can't see what you've just recorded. You're trying to show someone what you just recorded and you can't see it. This right here is an LCD screen sun hood. So, you know, when you're at school and you wore those hats and it had like the thing at the back that kind of look like a do-rag and a really, really long brim. It's basically that, but for your camera screen. <laughs> again, this is very, very cheap, very easy to use. I'll put it on my camera again and show you. Obviously, depending on what camera you have, if you can pull out the screen like this, if you have a Sony or a Canon or a flip out screen, this will work fine. You can get loads of different sizes, but initially all you do is you take these two little Velcro straps off. Two seconds, bear with me. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's on my camera. Very, very easy. It's got two Velcro straps, one here and one at the bottom. And again, if you do have a camera that doesn't have a flip out screen or a pull out screen like this, you can get a plastic one for a few quid more, which basically magnetizes to the border of your screen. But again, I've been using this all week while shooting a music video because I've been shooting in very harsh weather conditions for some shots and it just came in very, very handy and I could actually see what I was filming, check if things are in focus and show the client what the shot looked like. Item number two, mini sun hat for your screen. <laughs> okay, so coming in at item number three is this thing right here. This is a Nacy or Nicey top handle for your camera. It has a hot shoe mount here, so you can just mount it to the top of your camera like so. Boom. The good thing about having a top handle like this is that it gives you a much more stable shot. Especially if you wanna get some down low angles, you can just flip out your screen and you can get some really nice stable shots. You can hold it like this, or you can do like something like this. You can like put more pressure against it on your arm, get some nice shots like that. This also has, I've just discovered three hot shoe mounts. I thought it only had two. It had one at the front, one at the back, and it has also one at the back back for if you wanna like rig up a monitor to it or a microphone, you can use these like little hot shoe mounts to go on top of this. You're not restricted as to not being able 
able to use a camera or any other accessories when you have this on. Like I mentioned previously, a majority of the camera accessories that I'm gonna be talking about in this video are very small and compact. With this, you can just unscrew it, slide it off, put it into the side of your camera bag or into a pocket that you're not using, take it back out, put it back on and you're good to go. Just couldn't screw it in there, but yeah. Very, very cool little stabilization to have with you on the go if you don't have a gimbal. Again, if you go out in the city, you wanna get some cool cinematics, stick this on just to ensure you get some stable shots so you don't get back and you see your footage and it's kind of shaky. This will help out a lot. And it also comes in at 20.99, which is not a bad price whatsoever. You wanna stick a monitor or a microphone on the top, you can do so. So item number three is top handle. Moving on now to product number four. Boom, this right here. Looks like a giant digestive biscuit, um, but it's not. This is a Lazy Susan, and I'm not actually sure what these are used for. I imagine they're used for when someone bakes a cake and you can like spin the cake and like put icing and stuff on it. I imagine so, but that's what it looks like to me. This is an extremely cheap Lazy Susan. I got this for eight pounds on eBay, which I don't know. Is that a good price for a Lazy Susan? I, I don't know. <laughs> this basically sits on the table and you spin it. I would suggest actually maybe getting some blue tack. Bear with me. Stick it down like so. Put your camera on it and you can spin it to get B-roll of an item. Get some hairspray, stick it on there. Product B-roll. That's it, really. <laughs> There's nothing much else to it. It's just a cool thing to have if you want to shoot some product B-roll and you're showing off a product in a YouTube video or to a client. You take this with you, get some nice spinning shots. And that's it. <laughs> I know that they do make battery-powered ones of these which support a certain weight and has a remote control. So you could put an item on it and it will just spin for you. Ideally, that would be the one that I would probably suggest to go for. I think they're a little bit more expensive, but this for $8.99 does the trick for me. And yeah, I've used it for a lot of videos and it has not let me down. It's very good for eight pounds. Good deal. <laughs> and lastly, product number five, mini LED portable photo studio. That was a mouthful. I did notice these are very popular amongst people that want to do a lot of product photography that are taking photos of like jewelry or small products to sell on their website or whatnot. So this comes with, I think six different color backdrops. You've got white, blue, black, red, green, and yellow. And obviously this right here is the tent itself. I'm guessing it just sort of unfolds. So as you can see, we are working with an extremely small surface area. Very small, actually. So I'm not too sure how the background goes in. We're gonna try it. That is what it looks like with a red backdrop in. I'm gonna take some product photos right now, actually, of something that's red. What do I have that's red? Boom, this thing, this little supreme red lighter. I'm gonna go and take some product photos, show you how this uh, little studio works, and I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see right here, but there are actually two micro USB ports. There is one on the back LED strip and one at the front LED strip. Um, and it creates quite a lot of light. And for £15.99, if you wanna get some cool, just in-home product photos, this does the job pretty well. And you, I mean, you can't really complain for £15. You're not gonna get an absolute studio, are you? <laughs> What's also really cool about this is that it packs down really, really flat. And you could probably take this in your camera bag if you wanted to, just slide it into like a laptop sleeve or something and take it with you on the go. So yeah, a little portable light very good so that my friends concludes five things that you can find online for less than 30 pounds that you would benefit from if you were a photographer or a filmmaker so i hope you guys did enjoy that video if you did don't forget to leave a like rate and subscribe if you are new leave a comment next week i'll be releasing a full behind the scenes editing process of my first ever music video which i've been working on all week and i finished yesterday so i'm very very excited to bring you guys that video a little bit different to what i usually do but i think it'll be really cool to give you all an in-depth sort of walkthrough, I'd say, uh, on how I edited this whole music video. So look forward to that coming out next week and I will see you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to be updated with all of my photography and my life. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put it on the screen right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. They do have some...